Alright folks, welcome to episode 70 of the podcast, Big 7-0. Getting on now. Oh, we are indeed, we're getting into it now. So this week, we, it was April Fool's, what, two days ago? Yeah. So we're going to get into that for a bit. Whenever this came out, it'll be like four days ago. Oh yeah, right enough. Yeah. So bad. See, I'm not good with this sort of stuff. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so four days ago, April Fool's, so we're going to get into that. Uh, Clark's going to tell us a bit about it. Um, it makes for a better episode though, because we were able to give some nice, relevant examples. They'll see. Whatever, man. They'll whatever. Um, so yeah, talk, we're going to talk about a bit of uh, April Fool's. Um, we're going to talk about Afterlife, Ricky Gervais' show. Um, we're going to talk about um, The Joker, because the trailer was released today, which would be... Two days ago. Two days ago. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully you enjoy this one, folks. Woo! <laughs> Did you forget again? Yes. My God. <laughs> you have one job. Oh, sorry. Jesus. <laughs> So it ruffles just past us. What a great day that was. Ah, oh, so, so mad. I know. <laughs> so mad. I love whenever companies get into it, though. But, uh, I'll have more of that later on. Like, But um, yeah. yeah, I just love whenever companies get like so involved in it. But, I mean, mm-hmm. you just think about the time it takes them to, to build up those things. Conor McGregor's was very good. Did you see it? Did you not think it was good? I yeah, the effort was... was unbelievable. Show, show. See, for a... <laughs> no, I swear. See, you don't for... believe it. I did for half a second. See, because he brought out the whiskey, I was like, he's only gone and done it. He has an American accent. No, he? but as soon as he started talking, no, see at the start. And then he goes, Dublin. See, as soon as he did the, the, the voice, I was yeah. like, okay. But like, see at the start where he's Shop. standing. <laughs> yeah, I swear. See, whenever he's standing there talking about like with the wine, you know, smelling and stuff, I was like, he hasn't. And then, and, and then as soon as he's in the car and he's like, shop, shop, I was like, hey, no. I'm but surely if it was anything, he'd bring a Prosecco. I don't know. Because it wouldn't, you know, Prosecco is like the big Champagne, thing. I suppose, would make sense. Yeah. But that's sort of from France, isn't it? Yeah. But and anyway, the rape thing. And I thought it was, rape. yeah, I thought that was funny too. I thought it was good, but I didn't believe it. Like, I, well, thought I think it was good, April it Fool's. Was, it was good effort. It was a good effort. I disagree, but. Like, he put money in that. Oh, yeah, no, he did. Like, like but I mean, well, it's, it's a lot of stock photo footage. Is it? Yeah. Right. I think anyway. I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of the vineyards. Yeah. And seen the horses run through the water before, but um. Oh yeah, forgot about that bit. Yeah. The um, I just like it before that are really believable. And we'll get into those. And we'll get into some of them. I've got a fun wee exercise later on. Oh, here we go. But yeah, <laughs> you, you've got some information on why we celebrate. Yeah, like <laughs> I suppose for anyone that doesn't know what it is, and I'm pretty sure everyone does. April Fool's Day is obviously the first of April Were you every year. April's, yeah, yeah, uh, only April's, only April's. Um, so I've never really been that involved. Yeah, no May's or anything like but, that. Um, <clears throat> basically, everyone, get, well, everyone that wants to get involved does a wee practical joke or spreads like a wee joke or a hoax or you know as you were saying, yeah, you know, like yeah. Conor McGregor did. Well, you said that. <laughs> yeah, um, and then there's the yeah, and then there's a. Uh, I was hoping to forget about that entirely, <laughs> but unfortunately, it's been brought back up again. And the way that people tend to expose their prank is they'll shout April Fool or April Fools, whatever. Yeah. I, I tend to say fools. April Fools. Not that I would ever do a prank, but I tend to call it April Fools Day, not April Fool Day. I can't even remember the last time I pulled in April Fools, to be honest. Like, I got got by one once really, really well. I was going out with someone and they text me this big, long thing that was like, you know, I'm really sorry. I should have told you this a long time ago. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. And then at the end, it was just like, dot, 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 you're great. I was like, oh. And then, the, and then there was like, jump down. It was like, April Fool. And I was just like, that's not even funny. Because oh, I swear I was reading this and being like, oh, this is it. <laughs> like, yeah. I swear, it was amazing. That's sad. But it was really good. Yeah. It was really, really good. I think but, if I did something like that with Lawrence, you'd probably kill me, but. Oh, it was terrible. Mm. But it was one of those, I was sitting reading it going, I'm really glad no one else is here because I my face must have been an opposite picture. <laughs> but like you're talking, this is like fucking like ten years ago, but it was yeah. really really quite quite well done. Yeah. But um. Anyway, so basically, as we already mentioned, some newspapers, magazines, and stuff they all sort of get involved, do their bits and pieces. So it's been popular since around the 19th century, but it's not actually a public holiday anywhere. So nobody yeah anywhere gets time off for this. Yeah. Um, which is a shame because it's probably one of the holidays you should get time off the plan yeah you know what I mean if everyone was really properly get into it if you were to do like comic relief on April the 1st mm. and you could I don't know raise money 
pranking people. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, that's stupid, but you know what I mean. Like, oh, it's a good like... idea. I think one of the ones that would be really good is you, if you had like, you know, like Northern Ireland with Ireland just had moved into you know the kingdom or something. <laughs> stupid, like what? And America's like just like just gone away from Canada and you know Brazil's its own little Alaska's area. Alaska's part of Russia again. <laughs> Yeah. That'd be so funny. That'd be funny. Yeah. But like, basically, the space station could do so many things. Though. I mean, they, they should just get in on this. Like, oh my word, an alien mask. Oh. would be just or something like that would be incredible. Should they have? There's, there's been a few things like UFOs and all been spotted as well. Oh, so, yeah. But um, basically, in short, where it came from. So it's funny. It's it's sort of different everywhere. So, the UK, obviously, where we live. Um, it tends to be uh, basically it's hard to really explain this without going into too much detail but I'll do what I can so basically Geoffrey Chaucer the guy who wrote the Canterbury Tales in 1392 so as I say this only really became popular in the 19th century the year before my birthday <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, okay you're like 900 um, so basically he has a book or part of that part of the tales is called The Nun's Priest's Tale and um, there's a line in it that says, "Right, I'm going to try and read this in old English, but it's it's, <laughs> it's, it's English. Real, it is really like hard." Cider. So, um, Sin March began thirty day, days. So that's day e, d, day d a y e s. Yeah. Uh, thirty. So Sin March began thirty days and two. So readers basically understand that to mean thirty second of March, uh-huh. which is the first of April. So basically, then obviously scholars are like, "No, that's not the case." Sin March was gone, was mistranslated, and I actually meant 32 days after March, which is the 2nd of May. Huh. But basically, um, we all take it that it is the 1st of April, um, and the reason being is that um, basically that was, uh, he was tricked by a fox on the 1st of April in the book. Oh, so. well, I don't think it's fair, because May's already got May Day, so... Exactly, you don't need to. Yeah. Be greedy. Um, May fools. And then... <laughs> It just doesn't seem right. No, it doesn't. But, um, so in, uh, let's just see, in 1508, uh, the first reference um, was uh, in France, allegedly. Hmm. 1508. Poisson d'Avril. It's good, my French accent. It's good, isn't it? Um, literally means fish of April. It means croissant. So, day, <laughs> day April. Basically, <laughs> basically uh, <coughs> they say that uh, in the Middle Ages, um, New Year's Day, it was actually celebrated on March 25th. A bit don't far know. away. I don't know, was, sure. was, it, was it only the like, North Korean New Year recently? Oh, uh, yeah. Like some randomly thing. in the middle of the year. Well, for the middle of our year. Yeah. For them, it's like, what are they doing? Yeah. It's like, not even the end of the year yet. But then, would you not think, like, we're the only country that does this? Well, not the only country, but, you know, like, a couple. And then there's the rest of the world do the exact same thing and the exact same day. And then you got Thanksgiving, I suppose, as well. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway. There you are. Everywhere is different. Yeah. Um, but, <clears throat> excuse me. So as I say, uh, basically the holidays basically wouldn't have ended until the 1st of April. Mm. And those who celebrated New Year's Eve on January 1st made fun of the other ones who celebrated it and they called it April Fool's Day. So basically they made fun of the end of their year. It's kind of boring. Um, so yeah, that was... Uh, kind of rude. That's where they sort of came from. Netherlands, again, is slightly different. It's about a victory in a battle. At Brielle or Brel, B R I E, L L E, um, in fifteen seventy two, a guy called a Spanish guy called Duke Alvarez de Toledo was defeated, um, and they said this, up one April. This is in French. Uh, uh, French. This is in Dutch. Yeah. Up one April vel uh, verlur alva zin brazil bril. I can't even say that. It's a Dutch proverb which can be translated to. Probably should have read this. On the first of April, Alva lost his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> basically uh, there's but basically they don't understand why but that is what they assume April Fool's Day came from there now obviously as I say it's so weird isn't it yeah. so uh, obviously in, in the UK um, as we very sort of discussed it's the first <laughs> it's the first of April so it's fairly similar but the only do you know the one rule about April Fool's Day everyone knows you can't do it after like midday or something. That's it. You can't do it afternoon. Um. Otherwise, uh, you are the April Fool. Yeah. So it's. Flip. But I think like, I think that's too like, too early because you only get like what like f- 
five, four or five hours, hours really. Yeah. You didn't really it's get that, that long, long in between. But that was um, uh, all came from a study in the 1950s by folklorists Iona and Peter Opie. They found that in the UK and in countries whose traditions derive from the UK, the joke and ceased at midday, they find that. Oh, sort of rhymes too. Um, but my favourite part is in um, in Scotland, April Fool's Day was traditionally called uh, Huntigawk Day. Um, so it's H-U-N-T-I-G-O-W-K. Um, this name has fallen into disuse, unfortunately, but it was a corruption of Hunt the Gawk. Gawk meaning uh, basically Scots were like cuckoo or an idiot. Mm. Um, so basically the traditional prank is to ask someone to deliver a sealed message that uh, this is obviously a long time ago um, that would supposedly request help of some sort but in fact the message reads and I'm going to read this exactly as it's written dinner laugh dinner smile hunt the gawk another mile that's in a slight Scottish accent isn't yeah. it? so the recipient upon reading it will explain he can only help um, if he first contacts another person and then sends that same person down the road <laughs> to go to someone else who will get exactly the same message and they will keep passing this person on until they basically figure out they're being messed with mm. which I think is brilliant yeah but it take a long time though yeah but I think it's funny yeah. so I'd be totally fine with that <laughs> um, there's I picked a wee bit of the Nordish culture, culture okay. because I thought you might be interested in that so the so Danes, Finns, Icelanders other. Norwegians and Swedes celebrate April Fool's Day uh, most news outlets will publish one false story and exactly one false story, no more, wow. on April 1st. For newspapers, this will typically be the front page article but not the top headline. Ah. So you've got to keep a wee thing out. Um, it doesn't say where that came from but that's what they would tend to do. I was hoping it was going to be something like they chuck chickens at walls or something. Just, <laughs> I don't know what you'd be doing on April Fool's Day. Dead ones, obviously. Cause yeah, be obviously dead ones. Animal abuse. Yeah. So, and then I'll finish off with a wee sort of European ones, so in Italy, France, Belgium, and French speaking areas of Switzerland and Canada. So it's sort of European. Canadian. And Canadian. Um, April 1st is also official, or traditionally sorry, known as April Fish. So Passant d'Avril, as we said in French. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This includes attempting to attach a paper fish to the victim's back without being noticed. So, I've seen that. Um, I've seen basically, uh, early 19th century, or late 19th century, early 20th century, French April Fool's Day postcards show this on. So people still try and do that. Um, and again, um, the newspapers and stuff, they would also put out a story, but it would tend to be something to do with a fish. So that's something you have to look out for. In there. So it's like little subliminal sort of things you would yeah, see. That's kind of cool. I like it's that idea clever. now. I like that idea. So yeah, as you can see, everything's sort of subtly different. It's weird the way everybody sort of takes it to be from something yeah. else. But but it's the same with most holidays. It's the same with like Christmas, New you know, mm-hmm. everyone, I know the majority of Christmas is all sort of seen the same way, but even like Halloween and there's yeah, where well, we went through that. And it was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, it was well, cool. <laughs> it wasn't. Where I thought it was, it was gonna was go. Good, yeah. yeah, it was good. But they all have different sort of meanings in different mm-hmm. countries, so it's kind of cool that different cultures would, well, not cultures, but you know what I mean. Different cultures yeah. would try it in different ways. So it's just way interesting. I thought yeah. mostly European. Now I didn't really go into too much about the the US, but um, you can just assume they just copied us. So. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah. those things that they they've turned to. They also Americanize things quite often as well, which is that's true. So there's probably sweets involved or candy. <laughs> <Right now. laughs> yeah, if you pr- if you prank Billy over there, I'll give you ten tons of Toblerone. <laughs> Thanks. That like anyone so would have good. Oh, I don't know. Oh flip. Yeah. That's terrible. Can I... you not eat the chocolate at all because of the nuts? Oh, no, of course I can't. Just eat around the nut. <laughs> Just, just like, just I was like, check it. Here's some chocolate quitter Brazils, mate. Just oh, thank bite you. Bite the bits off. <laughs> <laughs> like an apple. <laughs> just gonna hit the core. All right. Uh, it's not okay. how it works. Fair enough. I was just checking. <laughs> I was just checking. You eat it. Um, <laughs> you want me to go through my ones now? Or you yes. Through? Okay. No, no, you run through this. This will be a fun finish. Okay, okay. Right. Well, obviously, I'm, I'm going to go to the UK one because I didn't see the point in doing anywhere else because yeah. it's. We won't get it. Yeah, probably not. Um, yeah. I think well, I think I've already showed you. You didn't see the um. You talked about the Stephen Hawking coin. Yes, coin, yeah. yes, yes. Was yes, it a fifty pence piece? Was it? Yeah, it has the it's like a black hole. Black hole with Stephen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really cool. So <laughs> I think this was in the Sun. Of um, course, it was. <laughs> it's either in the Sun or Daily Telegraph or Daily uh-huh. Express, whatever. But it's basically you know the poo emoji, the little the little oh, turd emoji. Yeah. They put that on a fifty pence piece and called it a new fifty poo piece. 
Um, <laughs> then, it would have been funnier on a two p. Yeah. Two pence piece. Yeah. Oh, oh, for Christ's sake! But um, they call that little thing called dun- <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, you ever thought poo would be so funny? Um, <laughs> just dunny money. <laughs> call it. Right. It looks fantastic. Obviously, you can see it there. Nice. 50, oh my word! That would piece. have been class. Is there yes. only going to be that, or is there other? No, it was only just that one. But I mean, that's could, so good. But I mean, for that just being one of those, like, I don't know if the, if that was the son that did it or if it was like an actual. Oh, they were just or, reporting on it. Cause it's, it's easy just to do that. I that's not done, real. Right? I could have done that. Like, yeah. no, no, it wouldn't okay. be real. Like, but I mean, I think it, <laughs> anyone who ever edited that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that's good. Um, did you see the one for Heinz mayonnaise? It's not on this list, but I just remember was it the cream it. egg. Cream egg. Maybe. So that wasn't real. No, I don't. Well, see, yeah, that's the thing. I seen, <coughs> I seen it. See, on... I'm gonna make an idiot out of myself here. I I had seen them say that it was not an April Fool's. But that's but why would you eat that? Yeah, It'd be pure minging. Do you like mayonnaise? Yeah, yeah, I like mayonnaise. Some people hate mayonnaise. Still don't know why you put cream egg in it though. No, I would never. Do you see no. them mixing it? No, I I literally just seen a still image. Cause that that's what got me though that I didn't see anything more. I seen the picture and was sort of like, eh. like the best one I seen was Idris Elba. Doing what? Confirmed as James Bond. Oh. I was like, wow. I didn't see that. No, it was no. it was so well done. I seen so, him actually on the... the gun. The lot it was amazing. Oh, did he? Was it? Poster? Wasn't him. No, it wasn't him that did it. But somebody photoshopped oh, it, fun. and I'll show you it after. Oh my goodness. Very good. Like honestly, that's what reminded me of it the next day whenever I text you boys. Ah, oh, okay. Because yeah. you said that yesterday. Yes. Yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, then, yeah, well. Because yeah. I'd Beautiful seen it thoughts. and I was like, that was very good. Yeah. Yeah. No, I seen he was out like, um, solving knife crime there the other day. Oh, well. Yeah. He was on ITN or ITV, whatever it was called yeah. in the news. Um, you seen the cat flap outside Dang. Dash Street? It was very good. It was very, very good. It was very well done. Yeah. Photoshop in the little policeman just looking out just as if there's actually is there a policeman showing yeah there's a policeman looking as if the, the cat's coming out obviously just looking <laughs> that's so good you know on guard I didn't even like. see the one with the policeman I just seen the wee yeah. zoom in I think it's class like, that's very good Mrs May's Moggy mm. my favourite ever video is that one where she goes inside after being asked are you going to resign are you going to resign and it's just have you seen that the video from her from the behind she starts going like go nuts give them the fingers yeah. so that's amazing that's fantastic that made me laugh um, there's another one from the British Transport Police. Didn't see this. Um, just says it was a little tweet that pop, popped out that says uh, fed up with having to endure stinky sandwiches and smelly snacks on trains. As part of a new anti-social behaviour <laughs> legislation, those caught eating offensive food items while in transit could face a penalty fare of up to two thousand pounds. I'd be on board with that. If that was, I don't real. think I've ever seen anybody eat on a train though before, no. apart from. I have had someone uh, bring a fish from a chippy on. Oh no. Mingin. Oh no. I don't like fish anyway. So instantly see I never, them See whenever dad cooks some fish as well. Oh, oh it drives me to the wall. See, my mum makes fish pie for Carl sometimes. Why? Because uh, he loves that for some yeah, reason. Yeah, but why? I don't know. So like, <laughs> see, because I get home, I don't know, between six and seven most days. Mm-hmm. And um, Oh no, I couldn't imagine she, coming home with fish smell. She, she, I come home and see if I see there's about 14 candles. <laughs> like, uh, there'll be like three candles in the hall because she literally knows as soon as I come in I'm going to complain mm. I'm going to be like what is that it's <laughs> like honestly oh, straight away I mean who like fish smell is disgusting it is disgusting yeah. like disgusting <laughs> it is genuinely the most vile smell apart from the yeah. poo I st- <laughs> you're still debating whether the fish is worse than crap I honestly it, it genuinely I just don't like it it really turns me yeah I mean I remember I find it easier going into like a public bathroom than I do walking into a kitchen where there has just been fish pie made. Yeah, I can understand it that. It genuinely makes me feel a bit well, sick. Well, fish pie is completely... Like, Dad never has fish pie. I remember one time we went to a restaurant and we had the, the seafood chowder. Oh, oh, no. That's like fish sick. It just sounds grim. Oh, that's disgusting. And you should see the woman. She was coming out with it and she had it like 10 arms length away from her. As far as she could, Literally. she had it away from her. She, her face coming, she's like, "Enjoy, sir." I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I was like, you won't," because I'm gonna be sitting gagging the entire time. Um, one I thought was hilarious because you ever heard of people dipping their chips from McDonald's into 
fish sauce. No, milkshake. In, in the milkshake. Yes. Yeah. Do you t- see the one see the one at McDonald's? No. They're releasing. Well, they're they were, not. They yeah. were releasing. Um, do the little pots where they put the red sauce and the barbecue stuff and all that. Yeah. Yeah, they have milkshake ones. Well, imagine just yeah, going in with your own cup and no way. They do have an advert all for it. I'll turn it down just in case it's. Um, but they have like. Is it long? It shouldn't. Nineteen seconds. Okay. So you can just see the. That's what they've got. They've got the little. Oh, like a little sweet and sour dip. Yeah, and then they new put... milkshake sauce pot. Uh, I mean, for love... <laughs> for people who love to dip their fries, fries in, in their milkshake. milkshake. Yeah. So you've Get got dipping from the first of April. You've got chocolate, vanilla, banana, and clever. strawberry. Very clever. And I was that like, "It's not a bad idea." Though. Well, I think I think people would go for that though, because instead of they could have their entire milkshake, but you would have to, you would have to pay for those. Because otherwise, people could be like, "Can I get fifteen vanilla milkshake dips, please?" Yeah. Tip them into their cup. Suppose ten p. You probably charge them for each. I think, one, it's, I think it's actually supposed to be twenty p per dip. Oh really? I don't know if that, I don't know if that's. Like Burger King or something. I like, remember the, the the one you can get you can get like you can get like um, massive ones in McDonald's. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. It might be. Yeah, yeah. it could be them ones. But, but either way, if they were to charge say <coughs> ten, as you say, or twenty p for a dip for. But like I still that, think it's a great idea. I mean, I I've only ever done it once, uh-huh. and it wasn't that bad. I've never done it, but I I don't really get the milkshake. It's I I just I mean years ago I used to get it like but. I haven't got I, mean, I get a waste from it now all the time now mm. which is nice but well, whenever we do get it that is yeah. but I, I remember doing it and I was like it's really strange because the chips were, were piping hot like yeah. and that's very rare yeah. um, and I put it in the cold milkshake and see the sensation you get between having cold, like frozen sort of cold milkshake yeah. and, and a hot chip so strange but it didn't, didn't taste that bad I, you know, I don't doubt it I, uh, it's yeah. weird I just that many people because it would be quite a lot. Yeah. Like, I've heard a lot of people do it, but that many people just, it can't be that bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't think it was that bad, and it come from me, where I just hate random foods. Really, being... again, I th- there's a lot of people like fish, and it's dominion. Yeah. I've got so. one more, which is okay. right up our alley. The Lego one. You seen that? Right. I, right. I'll tell you what it, I know what it is, but I don't know anything more than it was a locate a brick or something yeah it's an app called find my brick find my brick so what did it do or what did it say it was going to do so I'd basically from what from what the, the cover is here so there's a recent little poster yeah um, you can see there you can probably yeah, guess what yeah, yeah, yeah. so they've got this app which obviously goes through your camera oh, this is gonna be good yeah, yeah and they have a color selection at the top and you're like yeah. well on the page it says i need a red brick but i, I can't find yellow a yellow four brick. by two yeah so you there's no actual thing to tell you how much it is though because mm-hmm. it because in the way you'd be like a four by two or four by four, you know whatever. Yeah. They don't have that, which I'm quite surprised at. Right. So I'm um, bad on Lego. Shame on them for not including that in this uh-huh. little. That would have really thing. sold it, like. But the guy was obviously he just pointed it in front of this and it highlighted the brick. Highlighted the brick, yeah. Clever. That, I think that is better than I thought it was going to be. I think it'd be a really good idea, though. Yeah, it would be if you could pick that up. That yeah. would be awesome. I think it'd be fantastic because it means it means obviously the Lego would just be more than plastic then. Yeah, you, could, you would need like a wee tag or something. Yeah, you would yeah. need something like that. But imagine you get you put the wrong tag in the wrong brick and let that's not yeah, that's red. It's two by two, <laughs> but it's I an mean, eight by three. Yeah, but I think yeah. it'd be fantastic to have that. But I mean, I see loads of people that on. That is quite good, though. I see people on Twitter and all saying, "This is great." I can't wait for this app and all. <laughs> and I was like, "I hope they realise what day it is today." Oh, no. But these are like I, I obviously in, in the UK, like you said, we we say after midday, it's sort mm-hmm. of pointless. But some of these came out at like eight o'clock at night and stuff like. So people must have been working on them at night. Yeah. Um. There's also there's also that one, the Coleman's mustard custard. What's yeah. this? Mustard custard. That just looks like mustard gravy. Yeah, that looks like mustard gravy to you. I, I like thick gravy. I don't. But mustard isn't that thick. No, but if you were to make mustard flavored oh, gravy, man. that'd be disgusting. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I, I understand that, but it, it's uh, it says equally delicious with roast beef and parsnips as it does with an apple crumble or a sticky toffee pudding. Lovely. How disgusting would that Lovely. be? Mustard custard. <laughs> so, but it's. I mean. They didn't really need to. Th- I mean, literally, it was like the the, the dullest of ideas because they're already it is yellow. Funny, though. They're already yellow, <laughs> and all they had to go was replace the M <laughs> with a C. And be like, uh, it's mustard custard, it isn't is it? Quite funny, though. Screw you, Colmans. <laughs> um, but yeah, that there, they're my ones. 
I have um, I have a couple of things I want to try. So I'm going to tell you of three news stories okay. that came out on April Fool's Day. I want you to tell me which one is the fake one. I am so good at this. Okay. <laughs> now, they're all going to sound ridiculous, but I promise you two of them are true. Okay. All right. Okay. The first one I'm going to use <clears throat> is it the BBC and the iPlayer. Um, you know the app? BBC iPlayer? Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, it's launching a skip the sex button. So basically, if you ever find yourself cringing at TV with like family... You can um, skip the sex, so you'll never have to basically endure. Skip the sex. So similar to skip the intro, you can skip the sex. Yeah. Um, Mosquito bites can be avoided by listening to electronic music. So specifically dubstep, and even more specifically Skrillex. That makes that makes sense. Okay. To me. Um, and then we'll go for. Snoop Dogg once left a large rucksack containing up to £400,000 worth of cash in a nightclub in Exeter. He did? Okay. That was true. Okay. Um, so, does it, in the, the Mosquito one, does it go like, do you have to like listen to them in three headphones or can it just be anywhere? Does it say anything about that? No. Because surely it wouldn't just be any sort of music. Then maybe it would be the frequencies. I go for the BBC. It doesn't really make any. I mean, if you're gonna release this, skip the set. It's BB, why would you do that? Well, there's. I'll show you. Hold on. I mean, there's no, there's no point in 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 really doing that though, is there? Like it's. No. Nah. Just so you know, that's the button. No, that's that's April Fool. Correct. Okay. I mean, could you imagine watching this show and just being like, oh no, no. Because what happens if the person dies in that sex scene? What are you watching? Well, it could be like a, a TV, <laughs> like a, it could be a copper show where the guy gets stabbed or shot whenever <laughs> the man's trying to woo the lady or the lady's trying to woo the man. And then <laughs> after that happens, like, where'd that character go? Oh, he died in that sex scene. Should I watch it? No, back. I skipped it because BBC probably said I couldn't watch it. Huh? We should probably go back and watch it then. Yeah, let's, let's rewatch the sex scene <clears throat> I skipped the first time. So that one was that uh, one was fake. So, so this I was right. Yep, good. So this one, a comedian with no political experience has won the most votes in the first round of Ukraine presidential elections. They say Vladimir Zelensky, who plays a president on TV, received thirty point four percent of the vote. The current leader receiving seventeen point eight. Wow. Um. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, Nigerian Agriculture Minister Audu Ogbe has claimed that Nigerians are using their mobiles to import pizza from London on BA flights. <laughs> and uh, <sighs> last one Britain are going to leave the Eurovision after Brexit. Um, the Express um, basically reported that the UK are going to be kicked out uh, alongside Brexit of the Eurovision. They're all quite believable. I mean, the Nigerian one's kind of strange because it's... I don't understand how that would be cheap for a pizza. <laughs> Good point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because then you'd be paying for a flight uh-huh. to import a £10 pizza. But would it be worth it if they don't have any Domino's or something? No. Was it, was it Domino's? I think it could have been Domino's. Oh, it just, it just said pizzas from London. Um. So which one isn't? Which, one, which one is? Which one the is April the full the fake? Last. So, what was the last one again? There was our comedian in um Ukraine. Yeah. There was the Nigerian agriculture minister talking about mm-hmm. the pizza from London. Um, uh, pardon me. Britain is being basically forced to leave Eurovision as well. I'd say the Nigerian one. That's right. It's true. <laughs> it's the Eurovision. For not being forced to leave, uh, I'll read the rest of the story. So, uh, why would be forced to leave? What? It's a joke. We're not being forced to leave Eurovision. Oh, you say? F- oh, okay. The Nigerian's true. That's that is insane. legitimately Nigerian Agriculture Minister Adudu Ogba, um, has claimed that Nigerians are using their mobile phones to import pizza from London on BA flights. Mister Ogba, who said Nigeria relies too much on foreign imports, sparked ridicule on Twitter, where one user joked, "Dear British Airways." 
How come you didn't tell me you were on a pizza delivery service in Nigeria? Is there an app for this? However, the BBC has been unable um, to find any evidence to That's prove bad. this actually happens. Ah, <clears throat> actually, I didn't hear you say that they were being forced. Like, I just thought you were, they were just leaving because they were leaving uh, Europe. Yeah, no, it, it says... Um, oh, uh, uh, where is it? Uh, bah, bah, bah. Eurovision Song Contest, they reported the UK will be kicked out after Brexit. Yeah, like forced to leave. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Let's see, we'll give you another couple here. So that's the last one. We'll do this the last one. So two out of three. Two out of yep. three. So we'll do this one second. So uh, the US military is recruiting sea creatures to help track enemy activity. The scientists want to employ their sensory abilities to pick up signals that might be missed by conventional technology. What, like dolphins? Yeah. Um, a singing nun is to compete in the Italian version of the television show Strictly Come Dancing. Sister Christina Scucuccia, who lives in a convent in Milan, shot the fame after she won The Voice in 2014. Okay. Um, and she has released two albums and a video of Madonna's 18, 1984 hit Like a Virgin. And uh, Surrey uh, in England, the council. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Are creating zones dedicated to dogging. Um, the reason for the move is due to amorous detritus. I can't even say that, but I'm assuming that means that condoms being left behind at beauty spots. So basically, it's try and basically stop that. Is dogging not illegal? I don't know, but they're making like spots where it says here. Uh, sorry to have official designated dogging area to make outdoor fun safer. That's the April Fool. That's correct. The There's military are actually trying to use secrets. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I um, get that. For example, it's thought the booms made by territorial fish known as Goliath groupers could provide information about approaching drones or submarines. And the nun has actually done that. Yeah, I can imagine that. I don't think Surrey would ever make, make dogging zones. That would be so strange. <laughs> actually, uh, that's not, not even funny. I couldn't tell you if that's illegal. I would guess it is. Pretty sure it is, yeah. But, um, sure Dogging's illegal. Yeah, two or three, not bad. Because technically it's public <clears throat> sex. Yeah, I suppose that's Just true. in a car, in public. Yeah, I suppose that's true. <laughs> it's not like you just bring your house and you can just do it there, but... <laughs> Caravan. Is that illegal, though? No, because it's technically it's 11 quarters, though, isn't it? A car can't be 11 quarters, technically. What happens if it's a drive car, though? Then it's 11 quarters. Then you're okay. Maybe it does if it has a toilet. But then you can't do it in the toilets. Why? I'm thinking too deep in this. doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we'll, uh, we'll leave that part. April Fool! No, we'll leave that part there, folks, and we'll catch you again in part two. Sorry about that. <laughs> well, if it's a driving caravan... back to part two uh, as you know I laughed right it's been given a renewal for season two mm -hmm. for Netflix I'm so glad do you think it needs one yes why because <clears throat> I like the way it dealt with no a lot of it <laughs> up until was it six episodes yeah or eight? no six, six episodes six? Yeah. like what I will say is it just like he obviously had his epiphany but it was very fast mm. you know okay there are spoilers in this bit. <laughs> oh yeah, we're so, I can't, it's been out for ages though. It's been out for ages. Oh, like, no. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Yeah. Right, so <clears throat> it's been out for ages though. And if you haven't watched it yet, and you have had Netflix, <laughs> shame on you. I mean, it's even so much. I can't believe I did that. But even Lauren's watched it, and she doesn't watch an awful lot of things right, apart okay. from the Kardashians. That's fine. You know what? It's your own fault that we haven't watched it. Exactly. Yet. I agree. Whenever we come but to also, the Indian one, it'll be sorry, one of those things I as well. I cannot believe it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyway, so... We'll reverse... <laughs> so, so, as I was saying, before I ruined it for everyone that hasn't seen it, mm. he has his epiphany. But whoa, whoa. You have what? He has an epiphany? Very, but it's so quick. Yeah, I know. Like, mean. whenever he has his moment of realisation, it's like, oh, da 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 And then everything's just like... I would like to see... No, without this sounding too much like a see this... I, I would quite like to see whenever something goes wrong, does he revert to type 
yeah as he was at the start yeah or has nice. he now got a completely changed mindset where like is he going to struggle in this relationship does he get into the relationship how does he then cope with work whenever that girl I wouldn't be surprised if in season 2 I can't remember her name you know the girl who comes to work at the paper do you remember her name though no but anyway I quite liked her as a character yeah no she she was interesting because she didn't have she wasn't too involved but she was, very but she was involved enough yeah, yeah. Um, like I think there's going to be a point in season 2 where she gets a bigger job yeah and he'll sort of struggle with the paper or something the Tambury Gazette or whatever it was called I think he'll struggle with um, it like but but I just think she was like a wee sort of light yeah that he needed um, and it'll be interesting to see also how his brother's relationship ends up it's true actually right enough um, will he ever get in trouble for any of the stuff he did in season 1 because some of it wasn't too yeah, it was. It was. It yeah, was a bit dodgy. It was full like, on, like that heroin use was grim. It was. It was. I mean, I didn't expect the guy. Yeah, the death. Yeah, I mean, if you're listening at this point, yeah, you I suppose have, it's you've already. Been told, <coughs> yeah, I didn't um, expect the 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 drug dealer to the be... overdose. Although I think that was that was a part for me where I was like, he doesn't want to do this. Yeah. Because whenever the guy took the money and instantly went and got the drugs and then obviously injected. That was a part I was just like, geez, like, it was, even the conversation before he was like, we're not the same. He's like, but we are, and we're not, yeah. because I've completely given up, you haven't. Yeah. Yeah. And it's... that was like one of the, that was the first point where I was like, he doesn't want to kill himself. He just thinks he wants to kill himself. He's just like, depressed. Yeah. And it, I, I think, to be honest, even, not even that, it obviously hit a lot of. Like, it had a lot of really sensitive topics. Like, obviously, cop death was mentioned at one point, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Which was, oh, it's obviously, um, I think it might have been mentioned like a jokey way, but it was very, it's obviously a very sensitive subject. But Yeah, well, the entire show was just based around a sensitive subject, yeah, wasn't it? It was, it was amazing. It's like, a loss, and it's, mm-hmm. I mean, the way, the way it's sort of, I, I don't think, we'll go back to the, the thing about season, I don't think, Personally, I don't think it needs a season two because I, I'm happy enough the way it ended. Where, in my opinion, I, I've already seen that, the sad part, mm-hmm. and the only thing you want from him is to be happy, and it seems like he's getting on that journey again. And obviously, you already know, if something bad happens in the future, he's gonna be sad again or whatever. But, really, that's the it, thing. but he will. It happens to yeah. everyone. Has the same thing. It's it's just human nature to be sad when His something goes wrong. Exactly. Could die. But that's what I'm saying. Like an, it's thing. it's an it's an inevitability. So it's gonna happen at some point. But it'd be so interesting. I don't want to see that happen. You know, I just I like to think of his character to be happy and in, in the end of it. Because mm-hmm. if you think like if you think of Ricky Gervais, he doesn't have many things lasting very long. No. Nothing lasts for Derek a long time. Well, no, Derek was a few seasons, wasn't it? Not not very many though. Three. Did yeah? It didn't need to be that many. Three series. Um, you think, think of the office, both American and the UK. The office lasted a very long time. It was only nine seasons. It's a long time. It is, but it's not really for it's. It's the longest I think Ricky's ever had anything Easily. going for. But yeah. even his podcast didn't last very long. He's got one out now. Yeah, but it's not like it's 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 only it's not like it's every week or you know every year or whatever. It's just I haven't like listened not, to it personally. I don't know. But he's he just he, whatever he says before, like whenever it comes to an end, it's because he's sort of thinking about something else. Oh yeah, yeah, no, for which sure. Which is completely yeah. fine. But I think the reaction of Afterlife, I think, is what's going to push him over too. Because yeah, I probably. think a lot of people took a lot from it, like how it's okay, like you know, <clears throat> I don't know. I think it sort of gave people a lot. Well, some people. I think it's certainly given them a license that it's fine to be and down, and but there's a way, and, like, yeah. you know, obviously the way when you're watching Afterlife, you're sort of like, right, his brother, his brother-in-law, or, he still would be, wouldn't he? What? His brother-in-law, he'd still, like, his, his wife's dead wife's brother is still his brother-in-law. Yeah. Um, his brother-in-law is obviously trying to help him, you know, the prostitute sex worker, she, you know, sees the good in him. Um, the lady that works at the paper, you know, the new start of the paper, she sees a good in him. His mate mm-hmm. that sits across the way sees a good in him. Um, you know, the nurse at the the home sees a good in him. The lady on the bench. Why can't I remember their names? It's yeah, I, I know what you mean. But they're all like so impactful. All those yeah. characters. The lady yeah. on the bench is actually this. I think she's the one from Sherlock. She's also from Shaun of the Dead. Shaun's mum. 
Yeah. 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 But um, you know, she was really impactful. Um, well, I like the fact that he uses like not local talent because that's the wrong way to say it. Like his friends, the people are, he like. Yeah, yeah. Like he's like Roisin Connolly is the sex worker, mm-hmm. and she's pretty much in, in the majority of British TV. You got Joe Wilkinson, who's the yeah, postman. postman. Yeah, and obviously his brother and he's worked with a few times. He's worked with his best mate a few times. His wife's and Derek. His wife is. He's worked a few times. She's a comedian. Mm-hmm. She's, um, she was. Even though she wasn't like in it, if you know what I mean, she wasn't like she was in the past. Well, the show sort was of based videos. around around it her was, and oh, it was brilliant. Yeah. It was brilliant. Like it was funny as well. Like, whenever we were watching the episode where it's her last tape, you know, like she closes it because yeah. he comes in and um, she kisses her. Richard was like, oh, "Who was that?" I was like, "Him." Yeah. And she was like, "Oh, <laughs> I thought she was caught out." And he just watched the video. I was like, oh my word! Oh, no. oh I was my like, seriously. Me. No, that's. See, I, we, Lauren and I, we didn't get the luxury to watch it together because she wasn't a big oh, fan. Really? She's not, she's not a huge fan of Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Um, and I watched it, and I was like, "You should watch that. You'll really yeah. enjoy it." And she did. She really did enjoy it. And I was like, "We should have watched it together." And it's just one of those yeah, twenty but, minutes is perfect. But, but you wouldn't have known long. how yeah. how it was going to be portrayed. I mean, from mm. from the synopsis, you were like, "Jesus, it's going to be brutal." And then yeah. you watched it. And it was brutal, but not in the way you thought it was going to be. You thought how he's going to be hurting people because he's he's hurting yeah. he's, he's which he did do but eventually he's seen the light of the side yeah. and he was, you can see him turning which i think yeah. quite and i think the house is very representative of him if you know what i yeah. mean like there's the part where she like cleans it and he's like what do you do that for oh, because it was messy yeah and then he gave her the money to clean it as well after yeah. he's like well you go so you pay me money to clean the house really like, yeah yeah no, not, no, but that was that, no, that was, that was she just the it. kitchen. Yeah, and then this is the part where she like went to his house, but I mean, then she took the keys uh-huh. and cleaned the whole place. Yeah, um, oh, I just want to see if you would trust me, sort of thing. Yeah. And um, I just thought I thought that was a, like a nice sort of like symbolism, if you know what I mean. For yeah, because the... he's cleaned up his life after. Yeah, well, not cleaned it up, but just sort of got mm-hmm. better in that sort of sense. Yeah. because before he was an absolute mess, as was the house. Exactly, and yeah. even the title, like afterlife, yeah. like she's dead. Yeah. And then for him, it's like, and his the way he sort of describes it is, is like, there's no point anymore, so he may as well be dead. So it's his afterlife, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I just thought, I just think everything about it was just brilliant. Like, I, I do like Ricky Gervais' stuff, but I mean. This is probably the more, <clears throat> like, it's something you would never really expect from Ricky, that's the thing. Because he, he's even uh, said himself that he hasn't experienced a loss. Mm, like, not like that. Like yeah. that, and he wouldn't want to misrepresent it in any way. But he's. He's just, he's a street he's a phenomenal on that man mm, like he's brilliant his mind works in so many different mm-hmm. ways and the thing is he knows himself he's a, he's a normal beat he's just he's just a normal person Bella, yeah. and he'd be like oh my mind just works normally but it's compl- clearly not I mean he's, he's no, made some really, well, really good hit shows like. extras and extras as well yeah another one. Um, Gasper uh-huh. it's a strange fella on that one but um yeah it's 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 it's, it's a weird sort of Idiot turning abroad. point huh? Idiot Abroad Oh uh, yeah, but that man, it's... it was his, his he made it. With yeah, signed, uh, Steve Merchant. Yeah, Steve Merchant's <laughs> also really good as well. But I think with well, the things that Ricky's just made now, I, I think he'll, he'll obviously do a, se- a second season. But I still watch it, of course. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I just don't think there would be any re- need for one for me anyway. Because I like the way it ended. It was, you know, you have I like things that end whenever you have your own sort of thoughts in them, like yeah. Is he or well, yeah. here won't he? It leaves or... it open for you to make your own journey forward. Yeah. Like you can say, oh well, in your head you could be like, oh, they went out one day, it didn't really like it, but he's happy in himself. Mm-hmm. Whereas I could be like, oh, he went out and they worked out, and that was him. Yeah. But he struggled with, you know, whenever he realized that he loved her. You know, you yeah. can make like a whole storyline in your own head as yeah. opposed to, oh, now I have to wait six months and fill in. Then they're gonna tell or six months you know what I mean it'll yeah. probably be, it'll probably be yeah. 18 months yeah. to a year maybe eight, sorry a year to 18 months yeah. um, before you really do get what the next part of the story is and then everything you made yeah. up in your head Yeah. after the end of that you could be like oh yeah I preferred mine yeah that's that's the way <laughs> yeah. I, I like I know for a fact that's what I'm going to be thinking about whenever yeah. I'm watching it but I will be glad to see you know because I just want to watch more Ricky stuff like but mm. um, I think an awful lot of it was just everyone just loved it on Twitter. I haven't seen any bad sort of. No, not really. I mean, well, I haven't searched for it. That's the only thing I did. You see, because I seen people that were like, well, I think there was some guy who was like, 
I seen one guy was like, I hated this. It was crap. It was awful. And he's like, the only reason why everyone's seeing this is because Ricky's retweeting all the good ones. And I was like, where he was like, well, obviously they're my fans, and yeah. I want them to know that I, I was care. Like, well, yeah. I'll just, I'll just hashtag it and search for it on Twitter. Went and searched for the internet, and there's reviews galore. Obviously, you're gonna have critics on, yeah, know, yeah. Rotten Tomatoes or IMDb, whatever it's gonna be. But IMDb's king in my opinion. Yeah. I always, always gone. I, I've never used Rotten Tomatoes in my life. Yeah. I just don't understand. I, I just, I just rather watch things for myself and just, you know, like <clears throat> prefer that way. But I rate things like see once I watch something or on in real life, I will go on and rate it in IMDb. That's what I do. Yeah. So, I do like I don't. Thing. What I was, I remember one of my friends. He always used to tell me anything seven or above an IMDb is worth watching. Yeah. But then there's a th- there's a lot of stuff on there that I really like. They're definitely not a seven. Well, little Nicky's like a three or something. I love that. No, one. it isn't. Well, it's really low. Yeah. Yeah. It's Whoa. one of his worst gruesome films. I think apparently, it's great. It's a brilliant film. Yeah. But I mean, the majority of his films get really low ratings. So. Well, I think Adam Sanders, uh, probably laughing at people because he's a multi millionaire. Exactly. So who cares? Exactly. Um. <laughs> yeah. But no, like I said, like Twitter, I went and researched it and stuff, and they're all good. Every single thing I seen, it was, it was all good. It was like that one film, and maybe a few others. Just like I just didn't like it. it wasn't my cup of tea. I mean, that's which fine. Which is completely yeah. fine. You're your own opinion, obviously. Yeah, but I think he's he's allowed to retweet the good ones. Mm-hmm. He can retweet the bad, but why would you do that? See, the thing is, is that the way that it was portrayed, I don't think there was like a negative light on it at all like the only, the only part I disliked was when he said suicide was like the superpower didn't like that oh where he was like I can just do whatever I want and then decide that it's done mm-hmm. yeah yeah didn't like that but that's... I suppose it's some it's not terrible but I suppose some people yeah it's, it, it's it is some people look at that it is yeah. comforting for them to think that they can but at the same time as we've said in other episodes there's always always someone that cares mm-hmm. so you know off the back of that show that certainly <clears throat> I think was something he was trying to get across yeah it's, even if you can't positive, see it yeah even if you can't see it yeah. there's always people fighting your corner yeah um, and for him it was obviously as I say his brother-in-law lady in the you know it was everyone we mentioned there the lady in the seat is anyone um, he met everyone yeah mm-hmm. literally everyone that you know even he was George, spending time his with nephew. his nephew yeah you know that bit where whenever he was like do you want a coke yeah opens a coke well I go to the calf yeah, just leaves it sitting there. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, I know. It's a full can of Coke. Finish it. He probably, he probably did when he got me back. I mean, It'll be flat. The bit where he eats all the, all the food. <laughs> <in> one finger. <laughs> oh my goodness. Although, that is such a good point. Yeah. Can I get two kids? You have to be a kid. Why? Why? Yeah. Because, just you for do kids. You? Yeah, but I don't want a big plate. I just want a small plate. Yeah. I just want to buy a kids meal, but you can't. But you can't in real life, though. You can't. Can you? Yeah, you can. I've done it plenty of times. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good to know for the future. You're welcome. (laughs) I'm always like, I'm not 11. I can't. I can't do that. You can get like chicken goo. Even on age restricted ones. You know, I've never been across any age restricted ones. Have you not? I have. It has to be like 11 and under. Well, then no. No. Why not? Because it's restricted. It's so stupid. It's for money, obviously. Like, but I mean, so you know, but the majority of, like cafes and stuff, you can order like if you get if you go to a chippy, you can have a, you can have a kids. Oh well, yeah, on. no, well, fair if enough. If you go to a cafe, yeah. it's not restricted. But I meant and like never one seen those, one of those restric- menus that they're like nods for kids. Like, well, I've never seen anything restricted though. Have you not? I no. definitely have. It's very very. I always find it quite strange, and sometimes you'll find it's actually, and sometimes in the fancier restaurants. But they will bring you the main menu, and if you're like, actually, I don't really want anything big. Yeah. If you were to ask the kids' menu, they'd be like, sorry, it's only for like 12s and under or something. And they, well, suppose in that sense, that, I mean, that, it's that just weird. Sense, like, it's just weird. The way you made that, I know this is so but stupid yeah, coming to the end of this conversation talking about this, yeah. but like, it just I it just baffled me. I was like, that's such a good point. I've never thought of it like that. But why would you go to a fancy restaurant to get a kid's meal? If you're not hungry. But then don't go to a fancy restaurant then. But maybe you get, you've already booked it and it's for like your birthday and you didn't know and then you just want a small treat. <laughs> you just want a burger. I, don't, I honestly don't think if I would, if that was happening to me, my parents, my girlfriend, my yeah. brother, everyone would be like, you're not ordering from the kid's menu. I think you'll find I am. It's my birthday. And it's what I want to do, okay? <laughs> and you're all getting off it too. Yeah, do you want to fish fingers and chips? Do you want the nuggets and chips? That's what you're going to get. But what were they going to do, right? See, whenever they were standing looking at him and he was like, what are they going to do if he pulls it over and is like, I'm just going to eat this? Yeah. Take yeah. it off him. Yeah, what are you going to do? Sell it to someone else? I mean, the worst he could do is give him a bad for your own Relp. Like, Relp <laughs> on Yelp. All right, Scooby Doo. Relp? Relp? No. Relp? But, I mean, the worst they could do is just put a bad review on Yelp and that, that's it. Like, I mean, what do you put to do with that? Yeah, they can't take a photo. So. 
Yeah, well, they can. That's a random <laughs> point, but that was yeah, just one so, thing. So, out of all of Afterlife, what we took away from that was: can you really order <laughs> the kids' menu if you're over twelve? All uh, and all and all, yeah, in all series, not about the food, but about the show. Yeah. It was so good, yeah. like. And as I say, I'm I'm totally fine with the second series, but it has to be good. <laughs> well, no, I would love it to continue. Almost like even if it skips like the date. I just I need it to be not from a point of he's been broken up with and now he's depressed again. Yeah. I need it to be almost a continuation with a bit of a where's is, where's is he going with this? Is he gonna stay with her? Is he struggling with the relationship? Like I would like to see how he portrays someone who's trying to move on mm-hmm. with someone else and the struggles there. Yeah. Um and also how then the uh what's her name, the sex worker? Prostitute? I don't, I don't know her real name or, or what's her real name that's her real name like, well how she gets on how Roisin gets on um, you know now that they're sort of friendly will he do anything to help her mm-hmm. um, how the marriage is with the well, brother-in-law the thing is she doesn't know that Ricky gave her that's what I mean money, so. I think eventually that'll come round yeah um, and he'll tell her I think he'll tell her yeah and then she could end up going nuts <laughs> Well, there's, there's plenty to, to happen in it, which is something he obviously he's done for a reason, mm. but I and just... And the girl in the paper. Sorry, yeah, that. yeah, it's true. There's, there's, there's so many things. There's, there's so just many just a few nice storylines. Well, I, I'm sure we'll get into more Afterlife in, a, in another uh, yeah. episode of the podcast, but um, we'll leave that one here and uh, we'll catch you in part three. Welcome back to part three. Uh, so the Joker... Mm-hmm. Trailer came out today. Yes. Teaser trailer. Yes. Uh, we just watched it again there just to refresh. Re jog the memory. Mm-hmm. What do you reckon? Better the second time I watched it, the trailer. Because the first time. That's when your second time watched the trailer? Yeah. Because I posted it because I, I was in work so I could only really watch it briefly. Mm-hmm. So I posted it in the, the guys' chat and then obviously you and Phil were talking about um, that you're excited for it. We're. My initial reaction was that could have been a musical and I'd have believed it because, <laughs> okay, like, but then now that I've watched it the second time, uh, honestly, you could still probably convince me that's going to be a musical. What's, what do you, what do you mean by that? Because I'm not, to see the way with musical trailers. Right. Obviously there was no, like if you watch the greatest showman trailer, for example, there is like singing and whatever yeah. in that. There's like the wee sort. Of, there's quite a lot of like dancing and stuff. Yeah, but he is quite theatrical though. He is, but again, you could have told you like you could have told me that he was the one singing that song. But he wasn't. I know, but you could have told me he was. But it, and I but could have seen been who like was singing the song. Frank Sinatra. I don't think it's Frank Sinatra there. Yeah, is it? Well, it wouldn't be Frank Sinatra, surely. Who's who's supposed to be singing it? Uh, I suppose he's not real in DC yeah. universe. Who's it supposed to be? What in real life? No, in the. Well, I have no idea who it is. But I know obviously it's Robert that guy De Niro. singing here for that is. What guy singing? Robert De Niro. What? Robert De Niro's in this. Was that him singing on the, on the stage? He's not singing. Oh, is he just talking? He's a game show host. Oh, is he? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So, uh, how weird! Robert De Niro's a game show host. So basically, <clears throat> obviously, it's set in the eighties. Yeah. Um, as well known. I, I think I need a darker trailer. I needed to, I need was it to see maybe him. the song that wasn't dark enough. No, I just you. don't think he's being Joker enough. Okay. He's more Arthur than he is. Yeah, he's more Joker. De- he's more on the on the decline mm-hmm. yeah. into the Joker than he exactly. was. Yeah. So I Well it is only a teacher trailer, remember. Exactly. So. so that's why I'm not worried because yeah. first of all, Joaquin Phoenix is unbelievable. Joaquin is insane. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um so I think <clears> the laugh was fantastic. Yes. See whenever I first heard it. I didn't like it. Whenever he laughed at the comedy store, that's a bit that freaked me out more. Looked forced, I thought. Whenever maybe he's, he was... he's practicing it. Mm. Yeah, maybe. But it, that part, I was like, oh, didn't like that face because it did. It did have that like it freaked me out at the yeah. same time. But I was like, I didn't like that. And then whenever he started laughing on the, the train, train, I was like, yeah. oh, I had goosebumps and all the first yeah. time. I was like, oh, this is gonna be it's class. And then he got punched in the face. I was like, well, that's that ended. But you can sort of see like why you know it's as I say it's sort of funny when he gets hit with a sign but at the same time oh, see the that, I mean that's <laughs> like fourth time I think uh-huh. and see the oh no sign every time every like, single time like I sort of feel sorry for him because well of course you do that's how good the acting is yeah. is that I genuinely am like oh he's getting bullied mm-hmm. I hate that 
but the fact that he's getting bullied at such an older age as well yeah. is just you know just, I mean just, it never ends you know even up until he <coughs> fights Batman he's still sort of I know he's the, the ruler of all but Batman still is the bully in that it, sense it doesn't make sense in the timeline no for him to be ever fighting Batman now because yeah. surely there he's 40s surely yeah probably so is he 75 when he fights Batman it's it is <clears throat> you know it's just all over the place like well, when does Batman happen but then Batman's a kid in this film yeah so 30 years 40 yeah. years before he's Batman so is yeah. he 80 you know yeah it doesn't make much sense in you know timeline wise but I think it's the same thing with Joker yeah it's That's the same the thing with Robin though like they, they change and Batman change like in the comics they change I suppose in reality in this I think I'm probably focusing on something else it doesn't matter yeah it's like, completely it just irrelevant. needs to be about the Joker yeah, and the irrelevancy of all the other comics <clears throat> and films yeah. are yeah, you know, it, it doesn't them. matter. It's not Marvel, yeah. and that's something that I struggle with because I don't understand how if Marvel have this perfect Blueprint. layout, yeah, yeah. Of this is the way we're doing things, and look at how well this has worked over the last eleven years. No one's copied it, but then again, they don't have the luxury of being able to do a Joker film and it be an eighteen. I don't know what this will be. It'll probably be a fifteen, but or will it be? No, it would be an 18, I think. Do you think? You yeah. think they'll go all out, do you? I think so. It would make no like, sense. Do you think they, there's, this there's will be like blood and gold? beaten up to a point where he's like... Wrecked. Wrecked. And do you think he'll cut his mouth? No. Do you think all this tugging the lips away... I don't think... Maybe... Is a... I don't know. I mean, you could see... You don't really know where all this is. Because this could be like a two-hour film. And mm-hmm. all these could be in the first half an hour. That's what I really hope. Like, like the end game stuff is apparently all from the very first twenty minutes or mm-hmm. something. But I didn't know if that was just the first trailer or whether it's all of them. But the Russo brothers said at one point it's all in the first twenty minutes. So see if honestly, see if every film could just do that. I would love it so much. It would more. be so like, much even, better. Even like I know I understand with like comedy films you can't really do because you couldn't have twenty minutes of yeah. Oh, like belly laughing comedy yeah. and then the rest of the film be better than those com- very very hard to do but I mean in this I think that that's I'm- not though do you know what I'm thinking about it see from watching that whole trailer it starts with him in the doctor's office mm-hmm. he goes to his job gets beaten up yeah. then he's dancing in his living room which in fairness could be from any point because yeah. we don't really see the face yeah. he's washing I think it's his wife is that his wife in the bath it could be I think it is I think it's his wife in the bath and then you know he goes on and then next thing he is like there are points in that where he's a fully fledged Joker and there's no way that happens in half an hour no I reckon that an hour and, if it's a two hour film an hour and twenty he'll become the Joker in the last forty he'll yeah be. probably I don't think is, it, he is gonna have to win yeah because there's no one to beat him yeah except for the police well the police never beat him though which is never gonna happen yeah, yeah. Like, there's no Batman well, I don't really know exactly what he's going to do, though, because it might not be one of those films where he, you know, does, like, robs a bank and then blows up the bank, you know? Yeah. It could be one of those things where it's just his transformation from being Arthur into the Joker and then him starting... Would you be okay with it stopping with him becoming the Joker? Yeah. And that's just where it ends? Yeah, because so I don't Arthur see... the whole time. I don't see then... the point in releasing... If this is a standalone film, what's the point in bringing him out to be this maniac that hurts loads of people and then wins at the end for nothing to happen? No, I mean, like, if he was to, for example, become the Joker, say, an hour and 20 minutes in, and then for the last 40, he does do one big job, and then you realise at the end that he's lying on money that he just sets on fire, moves out into the dark night, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> if he does something, you know, that it just sort of shows he just doesn't care. Yeah, so, yeah, like he... As opposed to him, like, for example, the last scene turning around and being like, eh, 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 and that's the Lego well, laugh, but you know what I mean? The, like, I mean, it could be where at the end he just looks up from, you know, the sink with his mouth cut and he smiles, and that could be the end of it. You know, that could be, that would be fine, because it's not a film, I think, that would need a sequel if they end it, just as he turns into the Joker. The Joker. But is this now how the Joker exists? No, nope, I don't now... think so. I don't think, like, I don't think this film has any relevance to anything else apart from this film being a standalone hit. Like, well, it's it's just, should... So it's just a guess? Yeah. I mean, it's just, I just I mean, assume... apparently it takes from the kill and joke, but... Oh, really? Yeah. Well, and then, he, in that, he'll have to... In that, he's pushed into... Um, a, like a valid or sorry pushed 
he falls into like a vat of acid. Yeah. Batman shows up, you see. So there's which can't happen. Well then I does this one work then? I don't know. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it, that <clears throat> that trailer didn't give me anything. Yeah, nothing nothing too much to the point where I'd be like, Well, I know exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah. Which yeah. is good, which is what you want. What would what would your ideal situation be then for the film? Because obviously I've seen the trailer. It's only a teaser trailer, it's only like a minute and whatever long, but I mean obviously we both would agree that all mm-hmm. that wouldn't happen within the first half the 40 minutes it wouldn't be if there isn't right. something that he now this is going to sound really dark but I want the majority of the film to be his turn yeah so going from Arthur is it Arthur Fleck that's the name of it I think so yeah um, but going from Arthur to the Joker but within an hour and 20 <clears throat> ish if okay. it was two hours long Um, but there needs to be a focus on how he acts not no, I don't mean like how he like stands around and laughs and puts on makeup and stuff. What I mean is like I want to see the Joker be become careless, psychopathic. Yeah, you know, psychopathic. I want I want to see him be a psychopath and kill people and go nuts and actually be the, the Joker. Joker. I don't want to see him become the Joker and then that's it. Yeah, because for me that's not a Joker film. That's an Arthur Black film. That's not the Joker. I yeah. need I need there to be now I know that sounds really dark but I need there to be something like well, where no, he it does make sense kills a lot of people with a knife because that's what he does yeah and but not in the way it sounds coming out, out of my mouth but like something that he does something horrendous yeah that you're like jeez he is insane yeah and then as I say he gets away with something at the end like be that a whack of money or whatever yeah. and then he just doesn't care for it and throws it in the river or, you know, sends a load of it to, I don't know. I, you know what I mean? I don't know. Something stupid. Well, I mean, there's, it would make sense, I suppose, but I, I would be happy enough with it just being, maybe like the last 10 minutes of it being, you know, he, he's, he is the Joker and then he goes into, I don't know, just say a bank and then the screen goes black and there's an explosion. Mm. like something like that because then you know what's going to happen because in my mind the Joker is already a maniac regardless of who he is before and I think the film I think this is more of a dramatic yeah that's what I'm getting from it I don't think it's an action packed film from the trailer it just seems like it's a it's it's an origin story and it's focusing more on the drama side of him becoming this insane maniac fellow that just wants to kill everybody but I think I'd be like I said, I'd be okay with the end of it just being him turning the Joker, has his mouth on all bleeding. Whilst he's bleeding, he goes out and blows up a bank, but the screen's black, you don't see it. Like something like that. Because if it's a standalone film, why would we need to see anything more than that apart? I I understand where you're coming from, but then that would just mean it would be an action film. Then it would just be one of those things where he slaughters loads of people and then nothing but happens. Not even like loads, but say like he does something. Yeah. That is. You know what? Maybe not that because he's not a mass murderer, as so well he is. But he's not like <laughs> he's not like somebody who'll go out and just like randomly stab forty people in Times Square. He's I know it's not New York either, but you know, like what I mean is he goes out and does something sick. Yeah, I understand where you're coming and from. And then you're like, oh my, like something that makes you be like, oh, I understand you that. Know? I understand that, but it'd be more of one if it, if that was to happen where he went out and killed someone or just did something random then. Like, there's no one to combat him, though. Like we said, like, Batman's already mm-hmm. a kid, so there's, there's no one that's going to stop apart from the police. So then it'll be one of those things where the police will be investigating a homicide, and then that'll be it. I don't want to pick the jo- up the Joker card. Yeah. Like in Dark Knight. <clears throat> or, no, not Dark Knight, in Batman Begins, where they pick up the Joker card at the end. I think, I, I don't know, it's, it's a tough one because it's not that Joker, is it? You know what I mean? It's not no that 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 will be the important part as to how they deal with. First of all, it's the eighties, so it's thirty five years or nearly forty years ago. Oh God! Whoa! Yeah. Um, but but you know, first of all, it's the eighties, so yeah. it depends. What soundtrack's what, bound to be insane, though. Yeah, it sounds like it's gonna be yeah sort of Sinatra esque and whatever. But no, I have to say I'm looking forward to it. Um, um, I am down for anything that is gonna give me anything close to ledger so yeah i think i see that's another thing i have like i mean 
it, it it's getting to the point now where we sort of have to move on from Ledger, though, don't we? Like I know it takes for Alex Ferguson. It's impossible. Yeah, it is. He's tough. done the best job, and but if we keep comparing someone to someone else, it's just going to be like, well, he wasn't as good as blah blah blah. But the film was okay. But if they'd never made another Joker from him, yeah, I don't think fine. anyone would care. Yeah, well, I think they just want to. They went in a wrong direction. I think to do that anyway at the start. I don't mind Leto. I know a lot of people didn't like him, but I didn't mind him. I just didn't so, see the point in him. No, in the movie, he was completely pointless. Yeah. But I think they wanted him to carry on. I think he signed a multi-film deal. Well, I'm sure that contract's been ripped off. <laughs> Most likely. Yeah, well, the film's stopped now, hasn't it? So Yeah. There's no sequels, there's just a reboot of it. Yep. Um, With James Gunn. Yeah, well, even in that one, like, but I mean, like we said before, like, what would, what would he be in the suicide? Because it wouldn't make any sense, because no. he would well, be. But when Suicide Squad's set, is it set in... No, but oh, yeah. Batman was old AF. Yeah. But then they're rebooting Batman, and he's going to be younger. See, this is where they have the problem here because they have all these characters and stuff, but they have no consistency to the actors who play them. If you think right, but the only well, no, you know what? Joker could be older. Let's say he couldn't be eighty years old. No, but let's say the um. Let's say the Batman film is set in the two thousands. But then he'd be 60. Yeah. Let's assume 60 years old. Let's, let's assume in that he's in his late 30s, right? Okay. And he's in, his, he's in his late 50s. Okay. Batman is mid 30s. But you would 33. expect Batman to win, obviously, because he's. He's Batman. Yeah. But let's But he's he also fallen. 20 years younger. Yeah, but then the Joker could. You know, he, he does have a lot of stuff that makes him, like, insane. That, you know, he doesn't feel pain properly mm-hmm. and he's. He, laughs and you've seen he got hit he was going down he was laughing mm-hmm. but you know he's not the typical and he does have like super like speed and all those other rubbish ridiculous skills at fighting. but we don't know that though uh, uh, not the, from that film in the Suicide Squad he would but this is a dramatic mm-hmm. I think this would be a dramatic film where it's, it tells the I realism so. yeah. I, I'm totally up for anything that changes the DC universe up because it's feeling well I think Shazam's doing that really well at the minute it just looks like a comedy yeah, exactly. But it, it's it, it's set in the DC mm-hmm. title, so it's it, sh- it it does shake up the universe. Maybe they'll just do a lot of standalones, and their universe is dead. I think that. But that'd then be Wonder fine. Woman two is coming out. Uh, yeah. Wonder Woman nineteen eighty, I think. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, I think. I think Aquaman two got a another. It did. Yeah. What's Aquaman like? It's a... Really? It's alright. I've heard a lot of people say that it is very visuals exactly. and all are great. Like, but apart apparently, from that, it's it needs to be seen in the cinema. Because what you seen on your screen apparently looks a lot better, but then apparently there is just so much CGI. Oh, it's insane! Like it's I know the whole film CGI basically. I know you're gonna like Endgame is pretty much gonna be ninety percent CGI. Yeah, but it's but, it's not set underwater all the time where their hair is flicking about and whenever they move their head it looks stupid. See, <laughs> is it true as well? I heard that it almost feels like there's like a filter on it yeah. a lot of the time. Yeah, it looks like the, what they've done is they put their face there. And then everything behind there is yeah. all done. It's all weird, flopped up. Like Am- A- Amanda, Amber Heard. Amber Heard? Yeah. No. Is it? Yeah, she was the one who beat up Johnny Depp and then lied. Yeah. Prick. She's terrible. Um, Jason Momoa is okay. Looking at me, not acting wise. Yeah, there. I was going to say, people just say he's not good as... Patrick Wilson looks dreadful. Who's he play? He plays the bad guy. Mm-hmm. Okay. He looks awful. Your man Willem Dafoe. He looked terrible as well. Apparently he's really bad too. Yeah, he didn't. Look I great. heard that is is not even just the looks. I mean, apparently his acting's not good. Nah, he's alright. He's, but, he's um, Willem Dafoe. He just he just has that thing about him. Like he's a, he's yeah. a good actor. I, I I think, but I just think the the visuals in the film they they were great behind the actors, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's very very tough. I would I would assume to make your to get that right. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it 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 <clears> looked right, but. The, I mean the fight scenes all were good. And I just didn't. I it was an okay film. It was okay. It was alright. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go watch it again or yeah. anything. I'll watch the sequel and stuff because it's just what I wanted. I, yeah. I, I wanted to watch, watch the first one. You, superhero films are yeah good to watch. Pretty anyway. much yeah. Mm-hmm. But it was it was okay. But um, going back to the Joker, I think this is going to be a dramatic one on its own. No need for a sequel. Um, and it shouldn't tie into anything else. Um, mm-hmm. and if they were to stick to origin stories. <clears throat> and the timelines didn't make sense. Yeah, it sort of ruins it. What would be the point? Yeah, exactly. You know? Just leave it. Leave it as is. Do yeah. your films. You know, I know they're doing. I think they're doing. Um, 
They doing Swamp Thing and stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, which which would be okay if. But this is this is the thing. This is the, the, the tough part because you've got this other universe, which is obviously this film set away from mm-hmm. it. But at the same time, like we we're not we're not idiots. We can piece together that who's the Joker's ultimate enemy mm-hmm. is the Batman. Yeah. And he's a kid in this film, and he's at least thirty, and he's going to be what sixty odd or fifty late fifties when he fights him. Yeah, you do the math. And they, but work. they have yeah. a long period of back and forths. Mm-hmm. So how long will that take place for? Ten years, five years, forever. But that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Like, how long is it until the point where he kills the Joker, which is never going to happen? Like, it's just kills not a. Oh yeah, yeah, he does. But I mean, Dark Knight Returns, he breaks his neck. What no, you... the Joker breaks his own neck and blames on Batman. Yeah, but what are you meant to do? Like this is what I'm saying like it's it's very different from whenever you've got a plan set and you know exactly for Marvel they've been very very lucky I think I know they plan very well yeah. but I think they find the correct people at the correct time to play the, the right characters and the money and exactly but I mean if you would have been 10 years later you wouldn't have found Chris Hemsworth playing Thor do you know what I mean like mm. this is the thing you wouldn't have found these guys at the time Um, and obviously Robert Downey Jr. revived his career with Iron Man yeah very lucky so I think they were all very lucky to find each other mm-hmm. Whereas I think DC have just went, they have Batman, he looks like Batman, stick him in a suit. Yeah. Like, yeah. it is the same thing. Like, every, if you look at all the Batman, they've, they've all been the same type of yeah. person, you know? True. So it is kind of weird. But maybe one day we'll get it on track. I hope they do, because I, I do like superhero films, and I do like a timeline where everything connects nicely, mm-hmm. and it's yeah. not sloppy and... Yeah. you know but I think for this film alone I think it should be on its own and there should be no other ties to it and I understand yeah, Batman I'm fine. Jump, I'd be fine with it. I would yeah. be fine with it personally yeah. I think if they just do Joker and it is what it is and it is of no relevance you just have to take it as Joker and that's it I'm I'm, I'm on board with that 100% yeah, I agree so you're definitely going to see it when it comes out yeah no definitely 100% yeah. okay Um, I agree I'll be doing the same thing and then whenever that happens we'll come up with it Jeez, that film sucked. Yeah. No, we're not doing that. But, um, Hopefully not. When, when's it out? October? October. Ooh, Halloween. Yeah, that's, oh. why, that's why I thought it, it might be a bit more violent. Yeah, well, it'll not be like Halloween, unfortunately. No. But, um, no. yeah, uh, so usually at the end of these we have a little thing where whether it be like a quote or a joke or whatever, but I've <laughs> got... Joke be amazing. Well, we had a joke. Ah, it'd be really good, wouldn't it? Yeah, I haven't um, done one yet. We had, we've done one, but it was a silly one. It was about fart or something. So, I mean, a dark joke would have been good, but meh. <laughs> um, yeah. Instead, I went with a nice little quote. It okay. says, uh, Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Nice. By Ralph Waldo Emerson. That's nice. I like that one. Yeah. Um, which is basically what the Joker's doing anyway. Mm. <laughs> Creating a, a blood trail is it's what he's doing. He needs to but do uh, yeah, yeah, it just basically means go your own path and. Yeah. For anyone else who, you know, looks up to you, they can do the same thing. They can go on their own path as well. It's very similar to another record I heard before, which is... Um, Don't be a prick. No, it was... <laughs> I stood at a road with... Um, what was it? This is a very paraphrase, but something like... I stood at a road... A fork in the... That's what it was. Fork I stood at a fork road. in the yeah. road, um, and I took the road less travelled, and that made all the difference. Mm-hmm. Which I thought was, you know... Which Similar. is it's, it's basically the same thing, yeah. Instead, I have a real funny feeling that could have been that guy too. Really? Yeah. Like, and see, as soon as you said that name, mm-hmm. that came into my head. Well, I mean, it's, it is a good quote. So it is something to live by, really, because yeah. you know, if you follow people, you're gonna just you're gonna make the same mistakes they made, and yeah. you're gonna do all the same crap that they did, and mm-hmm. you're probably gonna go through the same crap that they did. So, mm-hmm. what's the point? You may as well make your own and try and make the best of it. Exactly. Yeah. Agreed. You good? I'm good. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for listening, folks, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye.